Submarines are the apex predators of maritime conflict. They deploy a variety of highly lethal weapons, usually without warning. Submarines can lay mines around enemy ports and in shipping channels. They can sink surface ships with torpedoes or with anti-ship missiles. They can fire missiles against land targets. And they can insert and recover special forces for reconnaissance missions or small-scale raids ashore. They can also act as intelligence gatherers, sitting off an adversary's coast to listen for enemy movements and monitor the electromagnetic spectrum for enemy signal and sensor transmissions. Submarines operate alone but play important roles in other maritime operations. They can conduct reconnaissance before a surface force enters an area, using their own sensors to confirm that it's clear of adversary units and safe for the intended operation. They can act as a barrier past which the enemy must go to attack its key targets. They can provide advance warning of enemy movements when stationed off the adversary's coast, not only of enemy ships but also of aircraft. Properly timed, their own attacks can not only weaken or even halt enemy operations outright but force the diversion of resources away from the enemy's offensive operations. It's their ability to operate covertly that allows submarines to do those things. Because submarines remain underwater and because the oceans are a hugely complex and dynamic environment, the boats are very difficult to detect and almost as difficult to track once detected. Modern submarines almost always sail submerged, surfacing only to enter harbor. They rarely transmit on radio and almost never use active radar or sonar, which might reveal their own position. They're most effective when they can access intelligence and sensor information from other sources, allowing them to position themselves to locate and destroy their targets. This is particularly important for diesel-electric propelled boats. Nuclear-powered submarines have practically unlimited high-speed endurance and can reposition very quickly. By comparison, diesel-electric boats are slow, although they can achieve high underwater speeds for short periods, and must recharge their batteries at intervals, even when they have other, air-independent, propulsion for low-speed patrols. If they're to transit, they must use noisier diesel engines for much of the time. This means operating near the surface with a snorkel, or snort, mast above the water, making them more open to detection. Once on station, however, they're much less vulnerable. Although some emerging technologies may increase the probabilities of detection underwater, they have yet to threaten the ability of modern, stealthy submarines to operate covertly. Modern submarines are designed to have the smallest possible signature across the acoustic spectrum, to the point where they're effectively silent at slow speed. This is the reason the great powers all operate ballistic missile-carrying submarines as key elements of their nuclear deterrent forces, and why new generations of those boats are in development. And although unmanned vehicles present a significant emerging threat, submarines' ability to deploy and recover their own autonomous vehicles will give them new options at reduced risk to themselves. Their potential as underwater killers remains high.